And I'm going to show you how to hack your computer at school. And this works for any computer, just as long as you have a web browser on. Now, this isn't a real hack, and it doesn't really work, but it's cool because it because it shows it until you refresh it. So you can fool your teacher. Awesome. Like, he will be so fooled, he'll be like, how'd you do that? But don't, so, but don't show him. Then it'll just, you know, just be horrible. So I got for you um, how to do the hack. So I'm just going to go on to a random site. Um, um, random site. Generator. Random site generator. So let's just go to random site. The finger. <laughs> okay, um. Marry me with my money. I actually want a real site. Okay, all right, we'll just hack this down. All right, so you want to highlight whatever you want to do, or if you don't feel like highlighting, you want to change something in the background, then you would, you want to left click. So I'm just going to highlight this, left click it. Then you want to go to inspect. Now you can also do this by, pres by pressing Control shift i or F12. Um, sometimes it doesn't always work. So, so as you see, So as you see, it says head right there. So what you want to do is you want to go to where you see the um, where you see um your thing. So then all you want to do is you want to go here, and then you want to click. Until it highlights what you want to change. And then you want to type whatever you want. I'm so bad at spelling. Okay. And then you want to hit enter. And then it changes whatever you want to change. So. And then you just want to keep changing. Um, some, most of the time though it would be together. But. In this case, because of the different fonts and it's uh, on top of each other, they um, made it different. But here, if you click a certain button, it will, if you click this button right here, that button right here, this button right here, that button. If you click that, then it's then it's gonna then you can go here and press whatever you want to. So this button, so that's please press button, please and then it's button. So this is a button. So we can change this. If it doesn't come up, then just keep clicking. But we want to change this to um, ID equals, it's not a, we won't change it to a button, we'll change it to um, a plate. I have no idea what that means. But it's still a button, because it still has the, um... <laughs> but it still has the, um, thing. And then, but, if we go into here, and then we inspect this, 
um, we can actually change the background. Um, you can, if you go over into this area right here, under the, um, all of this, you can actually look at what the, 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 um, display of it, and so these things over here, you can change the font, so you can, like, if you want to know all the fonts using the page, you can go here and scroll down, and then it actually tells you the exact, um, it actually tells you, it actually tells you the exact font. Then you can type to see how it looks, and it, and it shows you all the fonts used on the page itself. Um, if you get a box model, model, it just tells you, like, the, um, what's inside of it, and like that. And there's animations. So if you pick a certain element, like that, Oh gosh, okay. But you can actually change the uh you can actually go go in here and make your own and make your own. That's cool. Um but I've been using this for a while. Not to hack NASA, obviously. That would be just stupid. But you can add images. Like this Google symbol is an image. Um, but it tells you like everything. And then you can go to here. Just to see like, what would it look like on a phone. On a computer version. And obviously you want that to look that cool. But you can do all sorts of this. You can do different themes on here too. And this is just to change like the setting on the thing itself. I'm gonna do dark shader editor. You can do that. And that pops up right there. And then what what basically this does is um when you click it at first, it will say, um, waiting for WebGL concept context to be created, and then just wait for it. You can see how that's all coming up. See how it's all loading. And you can add different stuff. See how it says Control Shift C. That's the uh, um DOM and style inspector. And, you know, I'm, I know I'm just reading off of this, but it's really not that much, you know. Honestly. We're just waiting for this to load. There it goes. Alright, so then um, you can do different stuff. Just console, other style editor, shade editor, which we just added. And there's toolbox options that so we want the scratch by the um, web audio. We want everything. And that's where the DOM, that DOM, that's where it comes in. The default color unit, color names, RGB. We want RGB. That's all. You always want to have RGB uh, as authorizes RGB. But there's like different ones too. Um, highlight painted area. And you know, you just you, but you don't want to click this. This is what makes it so you can't change it. But you want to enable everything else. Tab size, you can do eight. Keep on things. I'm just gonna click random things. Honestly, I have the things I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing. So you copy that. I just took a screenshot of the entire page.